good morning. We're so glad you're here. If you like this daily vlog, make sure you come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day because we do this every day. And today is a special day because we're going back to our infertility clinic. But first, breakfast. <laughs> So as you can see, it's 8.30. Sarah's getting to bed now. I am working the morning from home, so I actually started working around 6.45 and took a little pause to get ready for the day. But we got two cups of tea. I'm going for a classic English breakfast tea. And Sarah's got a fancy, oh, I just poured hot water everywhere. She's got a ginger lemon tea. I got some oatmeal going down over here. And then Sarah, I made just some breakfast toast that I'm going to put this delicious vegan hazel spread on. Let's get our day started. Well, here we are back at the Center for Re Reproductive Medicine. Here's Sarah, she hasn't been in the vlog yet. Oh my goodness, good morning, everybody. I'm pretending to be super calm, cool, and collective. <laughs> but it's actually anxious, filled, and nervous. Yeah, I just did meditation. I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. We're gonna go in and do all we can do. Yeah. We have to get our medicine. The gnosis. Gnosis. Thank goodness. Sorry, I'm putting my shoes on. So we have to go next door to our, our study nurse's office. So she'll give us the, uh, the rundown, the forms, mm -hmm. the books, the medicine. But gnosis. All right, here it is. More medicine. More medicine. I'll take three pills in the morning and three at night, and it helps just my uterus get real cozy. We come back in um, a week and a half? Yeah, February 3rd. The 3rd of Monday to get the next step, which includes shots and stuff. We are home. It's 11 o'clock. We got some Coca-Cola. Oh, yeah. pills. So I was going to take three in the morning, three at night. She got a headache. She has to now, I mean, she was doing a good job of like not taking like lots of medicines, like yeah. Excedrin and stuff like that. They just want your body to be like ready to take in the medicine, like nothing interacting, you know? Right, and I think if you're gonna take anything, everything between now going forward has to, we have yeah, to actually have, IV have to treat anything. it like you are pregnant. Yeah. But Sarah's gonna eat, I might have a banana, and then, but I gotta get to the office for the rest of the day. They're purple and pretty. Wow, six of those bad boys a day. Yeah. It's a lot. But, <laughs> they're um, light. They're, they're little. I'll catch you guys later. Mm hmm And I hope your headache goes away. Thank you. Thanks for coming away. Of course. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Seven hours later. Okay, so we just ate the rest of our chili leftovers. Peter's home from work. Um, I'm gonna make us some like smoothies that are more like mealy, that actually have um, protein powder and all that good stuff in it. He's so happy it's Friday. So happy it's Friday. We've been neglecting our dishes, so I'm just trying to get them done as fast as I can. Yeah. So we can go enjoy the weekend. Yeah. Also, I had a brutal headache today, um, but actually a, a good amount of sleep helped it, and I still got all my work done I needed for today. Um, but it was looking bleak, and she was so good the whole day. But now that I have a bunch of food on the counter, she wants it, so I gotta make these smoothies so she can stop losing her mind. So I put like half of this bag of Seasons Choice Wellness Blend frozen fruit in. We had some grapes that needed eating, so I put some of that. Some ice, I'm gonna put more ice in, and then chocolate protein powder. And then some almond milk. We'll see how it goes. And spinach. Oh, and spinach. Lots of spinach. Alrighty. It's very green, but doesn't taste super green, which is important to me. Peter just went to go take the garbage out. Um, we had a little setback actually. It's seven o'clock. Our plan is to go to Fantasmic, which is at eight, and then for Peter to run at the Crescent Lake Resorts 
afterwards. Um, we had a little bit of setback. Eve just like randomly got sick, but like it was like one of those like puppy like she just ate too many treats or like she ate dinner too fast or something. So we were literally like walking out the door when this happened. So I already had like her a little bit of peanut butter all set up. And so like she literally had been sick, but then she was sniffing out the peanut butter like ready to go. So I think it was just a fluke, um, but it did set us back. Hopefully we'll get there in time. We'll honestly stroll right up to studios and go straight into Fantasmic. I just got a glitter email to bring him back six of the greatest from 2019. <sighs> So we got 17 minutes till Fantasmic. Oh my gosh, we are So I guarantee you we're gonna be, we may be standing room in the back of the Fantasmic Dome, but that's okay, yeah, we made it. Ever since we saw it from far away the other night, like it meant itching, so. Fantasmic <laughs> Friday, success. I forgot you are <laughs> This newly redone store will always remind me of the Air Hearts. <laughs> so soon. All of our friends are so soon. So soon. I need to eat so much popcorn before Jordan I get here. Jordan and Robert are here. The are they here today or tomorrow? Yesterday. <laughs> they yesterday? Yeah, we're hanging out with them tomorrow. Where are they tonight? Epcot. Epcot is and, phenomenal. And um, Earhart's, Diamond and Victoria, Megan and Katie. And that's all for this week. This is a full phantasma. Ooh, baby. Here. Nothing is more wonderful than the imagination. For in a moment, you can experience a beautiful fantasy or an exciting adventure. out of splash zone yeah. but that was a first there was a first for us yeah in that fantastic one I did not like at all yeah it was kind of brutal the fire did not go off at all at all like in any of the, the it goes off twice right yeah. I think overall it go, it, you see the fire twice no it just like grows and grows and grows okay, but there was never fire yeah. and I've li like we've seen you guys know we've seen fantastic so many times never seen the fire not go off seen some other things but the fire is pretty important yeah Oh, I never looked at that billboard up there before. Delicious and refreshing. Drink Coca-Cola. Says the Pepsi girl. So our night is not ending here. Well, it no. will end here, but it's not ending right Eventually. now. So you see the Skyliner? See the buses? Look at this presidential parking right here. Woo! We're gonna grab our bag because it's got my running stuff. We're gonna grab your book. I'm gonna change those bathrooms, I think. You're just gonna run. We're gonna walk over to Crescent Lake so I can run, you can read, you can hang out. Peter is changing in these restrooms right outside the Skyliner. 
So to get to Crescent Lake from here, we have two options. We could take the Skyliner, um, but we'd have to take it to the hub at the Caribbean and then to Epcot. It's right by the Epcot entrance at the International Gateway and then we would just walk to Crescent Lake. Um, it's close, like it's, it's right in that same loop. Or you could just take the walking path from Studios to Crescent Lake slash Epcot. And um, we're just gonna do that, avoid the crowds, enjoy the little walk. We really, we really love this little walk. It's, it's really secluded and I feel like a lot of people don't even realize it exists. It's like 15 minute walk. I'd say like 15, 20 minutes on the Skyliner. Epcot forever. Finale. Phenomenal. I want to stay in a resort so bad right now. We're I, the air hearts don't even know, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sneak into their their living room and, We're and gonna sleep, sleep there. on their balcony. Yeah. I think no, I know we have six points left over. I'm like really trying to like we could buy two extra points for like how many dollars? I think it was 13 or 25 each. I think it's like 25. That. I think, I think that would 20. be like 50 bucks for two extra points to do like one night stay somewhere. We're got, we have to do it because we're not going to let the points burn. Yeah, no way. I'd pay 50 bucks to stay at one of these studios for a night. Yeah. It's a I mean, great. and also like we are paying for yeah. our DC points yeah. too. But, but it's, it's a matter of like them going away yeah. or not. I for sure do that. This is gonna be rough. I haven't been rolling. I just tell myself, like, give myself a little bit of relief because I just did dopey just off of the 50k. Yeah. I ran a 5k last week and I ran two 5k's last week. Warning, you're about to see some scabs. <laughs> I got this injury and this right here. And this has been like whole, and I, like, my hip, we didn't talk about this since, the, since I fell last Saturday. My hip is all bruised yeah. internally. It hurts. Because he literally, like, took a tumble. <laughs> I took a tumble because I was trying to protect my legs. Yeah. But instead, I hit my hit my hip and my elbow. Yeah. So. I'm gonna sit here and do some leaning. Maybe call him up. Maybe eat some beer cheese soup. Exactly. You know. But you should get a pretzel. No. Yeah. Maybe two. I think I'm gonna go low and slow. I'm ding ding. Go low and slow. Yeah. But now you just got a new training schedule for Princess. Yeah. Today starts it. Today starts. Actually, yesterday started it. But also to run yesterday, rest today. But timing wise, I just was like, I'm just gonna switch it. It's technically, it started yesterday, but it started off with a rest day. <laughs> if you go, there's just no telling how far you'll go. Well, hopefully, in four miles. Yeah. Come on, get to get in. I gotta, yeah, go, I gotta go. film you going away. Bye. Bye. I'm back. Yay! Um, you did the right job. Even though it's been cool here in Florida, summer is pretty much back or it's quickly approaching. Especially when you're running. It is that that time of the year, which is like really like 90% of the year, where it's like that disgusting nighttime humidity where I go, you guys know I mostly run at night, and I come back just absolutely covered in the nastiest sweat. <laughs> so it's back at it. Yeah. So, but you're I feel good. Like we're gonna kind of like cool off a little before yeah. we head back. Before we start walking back. I made a decision, well Sarah and I made a decision kind of when we were walking over here and I like came to terms with it on my run. No 50 miler this May. We never signed up for the Swamp Stomp and with getting an IVF and because of Star Wars and Princess and now doing Chicago, I have the idea that like I'm gonna do these mini training blocks towards Princess and Star Wars but after Star Wars it's gonna be like when I really really get into a good fine-tuned training for Chicago to really do awesome there and this IVF is gonna stick and it's gonna be kind of like a race to baby brick heart because when this IVF sticks the due date could be dangerously close to the marathon so it's gonna be kind of fun to do the, the biggest training of my life towards Chicago like cross training even and well, getting my body more tone on the biggest thing it's ever taken right <laughs> And at the end of the day, it's going to be a race to the, to the baby. Whether I don't even know if I could end up going to Chicago or not, we just won't know yet. Yeah. But either way, it's going to be fun because if I don't get to go to Chicago, it's going to be because <laughs> it's going to be because Sarah's giving birth. Right. So either way, race race to baby yeah. Brookhart is so, 2020 like the, goal. The 50 miler is like a little bit too close. Like we'd rather focus our energy and not spread ourselves thin. Yes. I think that's a good I'm excited. 
for all. Your of favorite it. song is playing. Cupid Shuffle? Yeah. You guys don't even want to see me go to the Cupid Shuffle on the dance floor. It's pretty serious. Alrighty, we are home. The daily message today is life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. Aeneas Nin. Hello, little girl. How may I help you? Just a quick circle? Nasty. It was good frozen, but we put it in the fridge and I didn't think about it. And I got a long run tomorrow morning, so I gotta eat something tonight. Yeah, I wish. Make a wish. <sighs> now it's on my face. No, I'm joking. We just keep doing back and forth getting wishes. <laughs> so you yeah. got a long run, you gotta fuel up, and you gotta get to bed. Early to bed. Yeah, especially for a Friday. It's real early. It is good to be home. It's good to be home. You guys are the best. You're the best. Ooh, you look like Popeye. I would love to be Popeye. Are you ready for bed? Hmm, defeated. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>